Hello everyone, and this is what we'll be working on today. As you can see, we have two different units which can keep looking at each other. And we're going to use a bone for this. So we're using a bone transform using the looking at function. So let's see how we can do this as well. So the main core idea is for you to have your on your asset a single bone that you're going to use to look up towards other units. In this case, I'm going to use my upper torso bone to look at a given unit AI target. And we're going to be using the Y coordinate to align the axis. And we're going to be using the Z coordinate. So if you will remember in Godot, minus Z is always pointing forwards. And as you can see through here, minus z is pointing forward so make sure on your blender project you have minus z as pointing forwards and i don't know what these specifics are but usually in blender the word coordinates are different from godot so on this case of the bones it seems like the the axis you see here is actually the axis that is going to be read by godot so when you see here that my torso bone which controls the upper part of the mech is pointing on negative Z as forwards, this actually is going to work as you saw on previously. So I don't know exactly the reason for that, but make sure that the bone you are using to point towards another thing, it's negative Z is pointing forwards to the mesh. Otherwise you're going to basically flip the model if it is negative Z, which I have done. But here's also a special trick. You can realign the bones by selecting the bones on edit mode in Blender, pressing shift N, and you can recalculate the row for the bone using one of those right here. So we're going to be recalculating using the Y and you can use both negative or positive. And this is usually what I did. So my original model was like this and I just flip it out. And I think I'm gonna do the same for this part of the mesh as well, which so just it sticks consistently. So make sure that all your skeleton is calculated in a way that minus Z is always pointing forwards. So then we can select this bone inside of Godot and tell it to look at our target. So here on the code of my unit, I'm going to put this function to look at, at a given AI target inside the physics process. So after we, I have calculated all the navigation, I'm going to do just that that we talked about. So here's how it works. First thing is you have to you have to grab the current bone transform. So let's do another var here, which is going to be our current bone pose, which is going to be a transform 3D that we are going to get by doing skeleton dot get bone global pose. And this is going to ask for us an index. I already have an index, which is the skeleton index local bone. So index is just the number of the bone. So if you want to grab the index from a bone that you don't know the name, you can simply do a skeleton dot find bone and then you pass the name of the bone, which could be upper torso, which is almost the exactly same thing. So the bone that I assigned here is the bone you saw on Blender on the Mac, the upper part of the bone. So now there's something here that happens, which is pretty interesting. If we enter the get global pose, you're going to see that it returns the overall, the overall transform for the specified bone with respect to the skeleton. And it's being re relative to the skeleton frame. It is not actually the global transform of the bone. So the way that we can get the actual global transform of the bone is by multiplying the skeleton global transform to that of the bone. So we're going to do skeleton global transform multiplied by the pose. This is going to get us the global transformation of the given bone. So this is how you can actually get it. Then at this moment, we have a bone pose in the word space, which you can actually use to, to activate the function looking at. So this is the moment you want to pass your AI target global position. So you can do AI targets global position. And this variable right there is just a object reference that we assign once we have a, a target. So I'm going to be doing a full video on this with the upcoming RTS AI video, but I wanted to do just this separate because it's a very specific problem and I could not for the love of me find this answer very easily. So now that we have the bone aligned in word space, we want to set this back to the skeleton. So we want to access the skeleton again and set a global override pose. So here, the same thing, we want to pass the skeleton index look bone 
And here is going to ask us for the transformation of the bone. Now, we are going to pass the bone pose, but here is a big issue. The set global, just like you, you grab the global pose relative to the skeleton, you also, when setting, have to return that global transformation back to the skeleton. So the way that you can do this is the reverse of doing the multiplication here. So instead of multiplying by the global transform, what we are going to do is grab the skeleton global transform. So there's a special function for this and it's called a find inverse. And we're going to be multiplying that to our bone pose. And this should in turn allow us to use that position we just got from word space back to the skeleton space. Next, we want to pass the amount of the global position override and if it's persistent. And so we can pass that as true. So with just this bit of code, you can now align a bone of your choosing towards a given target, which in this case is just another object's global position. So this is all that I want to show you because for the love of God, I could not find an easy answer on this. Everybody was having different issues than mine and I could not find a simple solution. So I decided to do this quick tutorial in case of if anybody else is having the same issues as me and you cannot find an easy solution. So there we go. We have our two units. And once I acquire them as targets, and as you can see, it works as it should. So every time I try to search for a solution, it brought me to the look at function or some other. And I could not find the answer very easily. So that is why I have decided to make the tutorial. Now, there are a couple of things different than the look at function. So if I go back here to Godot and I search for the look at function, you're going to see that look at belongs to nodes. So because we are working with bones, there's no other way aside from using looking at, which works with the transform 3D, which you can apply to our bones. So if we try to use the look at function, and you're going to see we have that from a given node 3D. The look at function also does not return anything, which means that whenever you use look at from the node 3D is going to grab the the node 3D is going to rotate towards a given target. So depending on the thing you're using, this is not useful. Specifically in our case, we wanted to use a bone to align towards a given target and a bone is not exactly a node. So we cannot use look at, which a lot of people use. So that is, that is why I've decided to do the tutorial because this type of problem seems that a lot of people are having and it's not that easy to understand about it. So there you go. This is all I have for you on this video is to just solve that specific problem because I could not find on the internet an easy answer. I have to search a lot of different places with lots of different solutions and I could not find an easy way to do this. So now with this simple bit of code, you can align pretty much any bone you want to a given specific target. So there you go. That is how you do it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on another video.